What's up, you guys? Let's head on to the field. It's supposed to be another scorcher today, you guys. 97 degrees. You guys, just as sure as we're right beside the river, right through the woods there, I have come across yesterday, or should I say I came across yesterday, some places out here in the fields where the wild hogs have been rooting. It might be from last year. I can't really tell if it's fresh, but anyway, that's definitely something that we have problems with over here on this farm and there's some small poke weeds out there <laughs> in the comment section there was a lady off gate said that, oh be careful with that poke weed is poisonous I said let me google this right quick hold up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight yeah so I uh I actually googled it for a few seconds and then I got to seeing some other comments where some people were saying that I guess you got some people that actually eat the poke weed or the berries or the roots or whatever they cook it I'm like oh okay <laughs> I definitely didn't know about that <laughs> but anyway you ain't got to worry about me uh pulling up a plant to try and eat some of the berries or the root <laughs> or the roots off of it but anyway we're gonna try and get some more fields knocked out today you guys just made my last pass in this field and normally during the winter months you can see the river through the woods but as we know there's leaves on the trees and you can't see a thing through there anyway I filled up twice already and I guess I'll be moving to the next field. Alrighty, we're pulling into this next field and that kudzu is running out into the field here, ain't it? Man, all down there too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 to begin with. Yeah, we gotta get that sprayed. Don't want that in the field, most definitely. And off we go. Woo wee. When that stuff starts growing, it do not play. Man, it don't play. <laughs> I ain't never seen it this bad. I mean, all the way around here too. This is the field where the great big old, I don't know if it was an oak tree had fell, but Danny and Rudy got it up. Took them a, a while because that tree was in a very trivial position where they didn't want to tear something up, but they got it. And I must confess, I forgot to spray this side right here. Dan sprayed it, I guess about, maybe about two and a half weeks ago. I never sprayed this section when I sprayed this field the first time, so it's a little more raunchy out there than where we have been. I did exactly what I'm doing right now, sprayed the ends first. You can see how it looks a little more cleaner on the ends here, but out there in the field rows is more growed up. I sprayed the ends and I had ran out when I was going up and down the field rows that way. And when I came back to the field, I made my, my last pass going up that way. And I did the first half of the field there and forgot to come back and spray the back section. But anyway, we're going to get it all this time. <laughs> all right, so I finished that entire field, every bit of it. I didn't miss anything this time, all right? We're going to head on across the dirt road over there now. Dan's gonna help me get moved 
to that field so I don't have to track back to the last field. Save some traveling time. All right, you guys, I'm working on this field. And as I mentioned yesterday, the corn stalks have been mowed. So it's a bit trivial to see the rows to count over. I hope I can get it done without too many streaks. <laughs> I was looking over there, that looks like a streak that I missed when I sprayed it the first time. But I'm gonna try and get it the best that I can without having to go and get the, the straight line GPS. So I just finished up this field, the stalkless field, <laughs> and uh, I've noticed my phone is saying 5G. They put up a tower down the road there. I don't know, it had to be earlier this year, the beginning of this year, and obviously it must be AT&T because that 5G got full bars. Let's do a test speed right quick, see what it shows. Wow, look at that number. That first, what? You guys seeing that? That's the first number, 296. Oh, but the, the upload speed, the upload speed is slow. How can the, wait a minute, how can the upload speed be that slow? And the download speed is that fast. That's weird. That is mighty weird. <laughs> anyway, I thought, uh, I'll share that with you guys. I'm still enjoying AT&T. <laughs> and so we're moving right along, going across the ditch to the field that has stalks in it. All right, you guys, so I just finished up yet another field and that will mark 108 acres so far. The water truck is empty, so I'm gonna take lunch. And while I'm taking lunch, I'll be letting the water run in it. And maybe I'll have enough to possibly get two more loads for today. But anyway, uh, wait for this traffic to get on past us and I'm gonna head on to the shop. Man, it's 95 degrees. And it is probably about 100 degrees in this truck. Wow, wow we. All right, you guys, so there's been a change in plans. I'm gonna take the 8310 here and the cultivator and go cultivate some ruts in some fields that Dan told me had some ruts, particularly where he sprayed in some fields and run it up at. So the first set of ruts I gotta get is over here in this section of field that we sprayed earlier where I said I had forgot to spray it the first time, there's some ruts along the ditch here from where Rudy was side cutting. I'm not even gonna unfold the cultivator. They right here, right here along the ditch. Let's see if we can get that leveled out. Gotta be careful not to let it down all the way because it'll dig, it'll dig bad It'll dig bad <laughs> if I let it down all the way. I tell you what, when this hole right here is dry like this, man, it is dry. It is normally water standing here. But while I was taking lunch, the truck only filled up with about 600 gallons. So while it's filling up, I'm knocking out some ruts. And I think that's a, about it. I'm gonna turn around and run through it again. And 
And I believe that'll do it, you guys. We're gonna head on to the next farm. Before I head to the next farm, I gotta get my cooler out of this tractor, man. I don't wanna be caught without no water. <laughs> All right, that's better. <laughs> Y'all heard my phone go off earlier. That was my pastor texting me saying that it was pouring down rain in a city that's about uh, 37 miles from here. And he was asking me if it was raining here. I said, no, but I told him to bring it with him when he, well, who's that testing me now? <laughs> bring it with you when you come back this way. <laughs> So this is another farm that I'll have to get sprayed, but right now we'll try and get the ruts knocked out where Dan sprayed it and rutted it up earlier this year. I have to seek and find them. <laughs> okay, so it looks like over here is where he made a sprayer pass. So if I can count 22 rows, from this point on over that way, I'll be able to find all of the sprayer patterns and that'll make it easy for me where I'm not just riding all across the field. So yeah. Oh man, he got some on the end row too. Oh boy. All right, so I'm a, uh, I'm a time warp this thing, you guys. It's gonna take a little while. <laughs> you guys I believe that's gonna do it for the cultivating I believe we got all of the ruts that's in this field you guys there was a few drops of rain that just came down a few seconds ago I think it stopped already <laughs> oh no there's a few more coming down but anyway heading back onto the shop and I'm not gonna do any more spraying today just gonna let the truck go ahead and fill up. And I believe we'll start over again tomorrow. But hey, yeah, look on the hood. Y'all see them big drops? Come on down. Come on down in Jesus' name. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video on up. I declare, I hope we get some rain tonight. They're, they're calling for a chance of rain tomorrow. I guess um, he just cut that pivot off out there because it was running earlier. Looks like they're planting some Bermuda grass out there. I see all the little sprigs. But anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching on today. Don't forget to smash the like button for us. Throw a comment in the comment section. Let me know what's on your mind. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. You guys stay blessed. You guys keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Hey, look at the peanuts up. <laughs>